Hey everybody, as you probably guessed, it's time once again for a smoke detector unboxing. Um, if I could find my knife, that would be really nice. I should have probably done that before I hit record. Um, oh, there it is. It's right in plain sight. Okay. So again, let's see. I don't know if this is going to be new in package or if this is going to be like just like the unit but i think it might just be the unit. okay yeah it's just the unit all right well there it is huh interesting so this here is the honeywell tc49d smoke detector um let me put it down here for a second. So this one, as you can see, it looks very similar to the CD200A, which I have right here. In fact, they look almost identical. However, this is a hardwired version, which I've actually wanted for a really long time. Um, and here it is. So the wires on the back here are actually, uh, these are interconnect wires. Um, I think you stick the wires in those holes there, I think. Not entirely sure about that, but we'll figure it out. So, um, yeah, the back is pretty much the same, except it's missing this piece here as wire not just fell off. Um, I don't know what this piece, I don't know if it's missing something, or if it's supposed to be like that, but anyway, um, another thing that I did notice that it's missing is there's supposed to be a lens right here in this little vent right there for the LED indicator. This one doesn't have it because this is the battery powered version and it's not like inside of the package or anything, so it must have gone missing some time ago. Um, but anyway, let's open it up. And... Yeah, there's where the, uh, the little lens is supposed to go. Not in there or anything. Um, and then the interlock switch is right there for the cover interlock. Um, but yeah, the PCB is, basically it looks like it's the same exact thing as the CD200A, except it might be a little bit bigger to make room for the transformer here. Um, actually, I don't even know about Oh yeah, it's much bigger. You can see the PCB on this one ends right there, but on here it goes all the way out to there. But it has the exact same... Uh, the sensitivity adjustment right here, although instead of the label being on the PCB for the sensitivity adjustment there, it's a little sticker. That's kind of interesting. And you've also got, instead of the label being there for the, um, the maintenance and model information, because on here it's taken up by this, which I'll get into in a minute, the label is up here instead. So it says, let's see, there's actually not much information here at all. It doesn't say TC49D maintenance anywhere. Like on the TC49A labels, it'll say TC49A maintenance and testing, and it'll show you information on how to like clean it. But here it just has the UL information. And for more information, see the owner's manual and the uh, radioactive material information. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, um, it's basically just like the CD200. A horn, the regular Kobishi CLB27 squealer horn and the same exact sensor as the same exact uh, sensor and horn. The only difference is that this one has the onboard transformer here. Um, and this one is catalog number 1028, TC4090 1028. There was another version, I think it was um, 1008 or something like that, or 1006. 
I can't remember. Actually, let me check really quickly. I was completely wrong. The version that doesn't have interconnect is the 10, is the 1002. Okay, whoops. I just completely... I don't know what I just did there. Um, and then I did notice that this piece of plastic was lying inside of the package. This actually came off of here. This part of the cover. It's like that piece right there. So... I guess that's, that can be glued or something. Um, yeah, I'm a bit upset about the lens being missing because it would have like a, a light pipe that like sticks out about an inch or so. And, um, it would have like a little, uh, raised portion on, on the, uh, the top. So it would, it would be pretty cool. So a shame that it's, the lens is missing, but, um, now of course, you know, these are a lot different from their Honeywell's other design which was this right here that you've seen me talk about a lot on this channel because this is my favorite design of smoke alarm, my, the most uh, sentimental, I'd say, for me because my childhood uh, home had this model in the upstairs hallway. But um, something I noticed is that the uh, most of the transformers in these, as you know, are just like bare like this, um, like they're open. This one's got this sort of plastic housing over it. Now, uh, that kind of reminds me of, what is it? Right here, in this TC49A that I have, which is a slightly later model, has this plastic uh, covering over the transformer. That kind of reminds me of that. So I thought maybe they were uh, making these at the same time as they made this version. So who knows? Um, but actually, these should have a... Um, date code on there somewhere I think oh yeah right here 8030 so I think it's from 1980 possibly um yeah I like how they just reused the base from the CD200A pretty much um so yeah very interesting now um the interlock switch is just like this later version which is the um like the tab and the little dot of solder, which is the same as on this one, unlike the earlier versions of the TC49A, which have that closed-bodied uh, switch right there, the momentary switch. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that this version came out a little bit later than the uh, TC49A series. Um, yeah, so now... I guess we'll try to uh, power this unit up. I don't know how that's going to work because it looks like I may be missing a part right here or something. So I'm going to see if I can't figure it out. Alright, so it's a very similar system to BRK's push-in connectors like on the 1839 ACI and the 1769 ACI. I don't think I'm missing a part. Well, I might be missing like a covering piece that goes over here. Um, but it, it, the wiring connectors do still work, which is a good thing. So let's flip it over, hopefully without losing any wires. Okay, I think we're still good. And now, actually, let me... Alright, let's plug it in now and see what happens. Oh, I heard a small noise and the LED is on. Now, uh, okay, you can see the LED is lit. Now, if there was, if that lens was there, the LED would, the effect would be better because it would only take up the space of that vent, the, the glow from the LED. But that being said, let's go ahead and give it a test by pushing the button. Yep, has that classic raspy sound that these typically have, which actually is very similar to this one. Actually, this one sounds even more raspy, and that one is the exact same pitch as this one, so... Yeah, I can hear a bit of that modulated uh, DC squealer tone in this one. So this one's definitely being run off of AC only voltage. Um, 
They're very similar to, like I said, the TC49As. Um, cool, let's give it one more test. And then, of course, when you open the cover, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oops. You open the cover, the LED goes out, the inter interlock switch, and it should. Yep, turns back on. Now, one thing I did notice, or actually, I noticed in Nathaniel's video of his old TC49D that he has, which is actually the same catalog number, 1028. Right here, there's a small battery clip. Now that's because there's actually another model of this, the CD300A, which has a battery backup. But it's not just any battery backup. It's a rechargeable um, nickel cadmium battery, I think, that um, is installed in that battery clip. And there's a battery connector that goes to the PCB. And as it's connected to AC power, it'll charge the, um, the battery. And then when the power goes out, it'll run that the detector off of that battery similar to the cd200a so yeah that's a pretty cool model that i'd like to find as well as the cd100a which was the line cord powered version of this uh federal 3 t22 has one of those now uh yeah i guess i'll see if i can't test it without the cover on by pushing the interlock switch in and pushing the test button So, um, yeah, close it down. I don't have a manual, obviously, and I don't know what kind of box this would have come with, because they had um, both contractor models and uh, uh, retail models, and the retail model probably would have come in a box that looked like this. This is for my CD200A. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have this one, like I said. Would love to find one that has the lens in it, which I'm kind of upset this one doesn't have. But nonetheless, I'm still pretty happy to have this unit. Um, really nice piece of Honeywell's lineup that I didn't have before. I'd also like to find the CD300A and the CD400A, which was the battery-operated version with the escape light. Um, yeah, so um, once again, that is the Honeywell TC49D. I'll do one more test for you. So I don't think there's anything left to say about this unit, other than I'm really happy to finally have one of these TC49D models. Um, I may try to 3D print a replacement lens for it, so that's possibly a project to look for in the future. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.